Hey folks, we're doing another one of our application strategy videos. This one is the state of Wyoming. And I'm sure you're thinking, well, Randy, you just did the Wyoming elk video a few weeks ago. Yep. Wyoming breaks their draw into elk in January and then moose, mountain goat, bison, and bighorn sheep in February. And then in May, deer and antelope. So this video is about how Wyoming does their moose, their mountain goat, their bighorn sheep, and bison. And a lot of you are going to say, well, Randy, those are really expensive. I don't really apply there. I get that. But we want everybody to know because a lot of people, even if today they can't justify the cost of some of these tags, down the road they might. All of us have a different change in our time budget, our financial budget. So we just want to walk through how this is. It's probably one of the easier videos that we're going to do. Some of this is different for residents as far as deadlines and other stuff than it is for non-residents. So I'm only talking about how this applies for non-residents. You hear me often talk about how we use the GoHunt service, their insider service for all these application strategy articles. And right here, they have the application strategy article for those four species I just mentioned, sheep, goat, moose, bison. And remember, you've seen it in these videos, if you sign up using our promo code, they're gonna give you $50 of store credit in their gear shop. So use promo code Randy if you sign up for the insider. It's like $50 of free money in a really really good gear shop. So the deadline in Wyoming is February 28th. You want to go online if you're interested in moose, goat, sheep, or bison, get your application in. And the draw results usually come out mm, sometime in early to mid-May. I think last year they were out by May 10th or 11th. Uh, the downside about Wyoming is you have to send in the entire amount when you apply. And when you see what the price is for some of these, you're going to be like, whoa, there goes my application budget. So when I tell you these numbers, I'm not, these aren't typos. So mountain goat in uh, Wyoming, $2,162. Bison, you have two options, either in any bison, which allows you to shoot a bull, or the lower price one is any cow-calf bison. Well, this year, there's a huge increase in those costs. Any bison, which is the bull bison tags, went up to $4,402. Yeah. And for the any bison, or any cow-calf bison, I mean, those are usually what they call cow bison tags, it's still $2,752. That's a lot of money to go bison hunting. And then <clears throat> when you get into what the prices are for uh, sheep, it's a lot. $2,320 for a non-resident sheep tag. And for a moose tag, $1,982. People always say, am I going to get my money back if I don't draw? Yes, you're going to get your money back less your application fee. And in the case of moose and bighorn sheep where there's a point system, less your point fee of $150. One of the beauties of Wyoming is they're very generous to us as non-residents. For moose, 20% of the tags go to non-resident. For uh, goat, mountain goat, and bighorn sheep, 25% of the tags go to non-residents. For bison, 20% of the tags go to non-residents. Most of the other Western states, non-residents only get 10% or sometimes it's up to 10%, so there's not even a guarantee of 10%. Here's a couple things that you need to know with, I'm gonna start with the easy ones, mountain goat and bison. There is no point system in place in Wyoming for mountain goat or bison. Throw your name in the hat, doesn't matter if you've, this is your first year, or if you're like me and I've been applying for, seems like forever, your odds and my odds are the same. No point system for mountain goat or bison, whether it's the bull bison or the uh, cow bison, doesn't matter, no point system. So that's a really easy one to explain. The harder part are the moose and the bighorn sheep drawings for Wyoming non-residents. Wyoming has a point system, I call it a modified preference point system for bighorn sheep and for moose. And here's how it works. They, have, they break their draw into two pieces. 
The very first thing is they do a preference point draw for 75% of the non-resident tags, and then they do a random draw for the other 25% of the non-resident tags. Kind of sounds like how they do their elk draw, right? 75% preference point, 25% random draw. So that is important for a couple of reasons. One, if you're at the top of the point pool, you know that it's just a matter of time before you end up getting a tag in Wyoming. If you're new to the system this year or you've only got a few points, you're really counting on drawing in the random 25% pool. And this is where it gets really important. You have to look at how many tags are issued to make sure there will be a random tag. If you're at the low end of the point pool, do not apply for a unit if it has no random tags available. So if there's only one sheep or moose tag non-resident for a unit, guess what? That's going in the preference point pool. It's not going in the random pool. You will not draw if you make that your choice unless you are at the top of the pile. So let's walk through your application in the Wyoming draw for moose. You say, all right, I'm gonna apply for a, a unit that has four, I'm gonna make it easy, non-resident tags. We know that three of those tags are gonna get given to non-residents in the preference point draw, 75% of them are three. And the other one, which is the other 25%, is gonna go in the random draw. So if you have, let's say, 20 points, and I think the maximum right now is 24, 25, you apply over there, and you whether you have 20 points or zero points, you're all going into the preference point draw. And Wyoming says, all right, who are the, the applicants with the highest point numbers? Well, let's say that there are three people who have more points than you. The top three people are going to get those three tags in the preference point draw. They get preference because they have the highest number of points. So everybody who didn't draw, who put in for that hunt code, is then going over to the random draw for that one last tag. And that random draw completely ignores points. It is just as they say, a random draw. So you and everybody else are gonna be in this random draw. Every year, somebody with almost zero points or the first year they get in there, somebody snags a tag in that random draw. So there you have it, folks, for 2018 for Wyoming moose, mountain goat, bighorn sheep, and bison. The deadline is February 28th. Hopefully you have the budget and you can do it, and maybe you'll draw one of these tags. Like I've said many times, these application strategy articles that you get when you subscribe to the Insider on Go Hunt are worth every, every penny. And I'm not just talking about, in this case, Wyoming, moose, goat, sheep, and bison. I'm talking about all the western states that they do this for and all the species that they do it for. Use promo code RANDY and get $50 of free credit in their gear shop. Thanks for watching.